Hey, what's up guys? It's Jacob, and today we're going to be playing some more BitLife. This time, the challenge will be all of my choices will be randomized. It should be fun and probably, probably won't end terribly. But if you guys do have a join, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. And let's hop right into it. All right, I literally haven't even done anything yet, and BitLife has already crashed. That's, uh, that's a great sign. All right, Albert. Jesus, he already looks very angry. Well, I'm going to make him angrier. All right, new friend, surprise me. I don't want to- okay, I guess I'm friends with him. Ooh, a bully. Sure, let's see. Surprise me. Tell my stepbrother. And then he fractured his scalp. All right. Oh my god, my stepbrother at 13 died. He died from the complications associated with measles. I will be attending his funeral. Now I'm depressed. Why am I depressed? Oh, my, my brother died. That's right. Ooh, this should be fun. Three of your friends literally just jumped off a bridge into the river below. What will you do? I don't know what I'll do. Surprise me. Ah, oh, climb down and swim. I didn't have the guts to jump off the bridge. Lame. Extracurricular activity. See what my school offers. Okay. So I guess I could close my eyes and randomly choose one. Three, two, one. I will be in the cosplay club. That sounds like fun. Sure. Why not? Jeez, my, my guy Albert here still looks very, very angry. I don't know what I've done to him. Now I'm cured from depression. He's still- there's still pain behind those eyes. I can tell. Fellow members of the cosplay club at your secondary school have nominated me to become the treasurer. All right, let's see what I choose. Turn it down. Ah, great. I just now start enjoying something. I become undepressed and I'm just turning everything down. They want me to become the treasurer again. And I turn it down again. Back to back years. Oh, here's back to back to back, maybe? No, I decided to become the treasurer. Ooh, this is gonna be an important decision of our lives. Graduated from school, what will I do now? Surprise me. Big money, big money. Ah, oh, apply to university, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna randomly choose a major, close my eyes and select this one, uh, engineering. Then I'm gonna click surprise me and it looks like I will not be attending school. Okay, Ugh, this looks like a uh, height limit for sure. Oh. Never mind. I'm a dumbass. All my friends are joining YouTube. Surprise me. I really hope I stay away from it. Good. My ego cannot bear another bit life life having more subscribers than me. It's just painful. Face blisters. Okay. Maybe it's the measles that my stepbrother <laughs> that died a long time ago gave me. All right. Let's see. It doesn't bother me. All right. What about physical therapist? Nope. What about uh, junior reporter? Nope. What about school teacher? No, what about a part? Oh, I actually can. All right, but you have to surprise me though. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually, I actually got a job, no way. You were feeling bisexual tendencies. You've been thinking a lot about your sexuality a lot lately. You decided to Google search. This is, this is very offensive to the LGBTQ plus community, but surprise me. And I'm bisexual. Let's, let's actually try and do a random crime. A random number between one and 11 is eight. Eight. Okay, so I'm going to pickpocket a stranger. All right, should be easy enough. Uh, choose a victim. I'll I'll choose a drug dealer. That sounds like the best option. Pickpocket him, and he has now confronted me. He attacked me with a guided missile, but missed. Jesus Christ! When did I get into GTA all of a sudden? Holy crap! You and your friends are taking shots at the bar while I'm bartending. Uh oh. Drinks on the house. Did I have an option to drug them? Is that what, make them extra strong? That That's probably illegal, right? I've been sneezing all day. It doesn't sound like a problem, but I, I guess we can just leave it up to fate. It doesn't bother me. Yep, see, that's what I like to see. It's probably just a cold. So far, I've only probably gotten just a few sicknesses, so I'm gonna choose another random option here. What if I went to the casino? Is 29,155. All right, so 29,100 is what I'll be choosing. Sure, deal them. <laughs> oh no, and I guess I gotta have it be randomized too. I said I'll stand, this is stupid. This is like most of my funds. Okay, I guess I'll stand. And yeah, what do you know? No, leave the casino. I'm done with that. No more, no more randomized casino decisions. Oh no, I think a prostitute's trying to seduce me. Oh Christ. All right, I guess I argued with her. That's not terrible. I kind of wish uh, it gave me the option of attacking her. That probably would have been the best bet and honestly the funniest, but oh well. I've been fired from my position at the bar because I failed to lock the door when I left. Okay, surprise me. Uh, wish my supervisor well. I guess the choice is a choice. All right, I guess we can join the military randomly. Now I am a Marine. My friends are joining YouTube again? God damn it, please, please, no. Okay, stay away from it, thank you. Oh, my stepfather passed away after suffering from a stroke. That's unfortunate. 
Yeah, that's just very unfortunate. Skip the funeral altogether. And I will go to the doctor for once. Choose a doctor for me. <laughs> Actually, never mind. Well, we almost went to the doctor and probably would have figured out many, many things wrong with me, but that's okay. Well, eating at a restaurant, you see a woman breastfeeding a child who appears to be about five years old. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. A check, please. So I left. All right, what if I just randomly decided to, to desert my post as a Marine? You've deserted the Marines and you're now on the run. Oh my God. I have a discomfort in my eyeball now. Sure, w w what's the problem? Tell me. Take some aspirin, now I feel better. So is that it? I'm just running away from the Marines, that's it? I'll be the green party on my education platform and have the tiny ass budget, sure. All right, well I said wasted five grand on a mayor campaign run that I was never gonna win. While putting on a swimsuit, you notice some scaling on your skin. Am I becoming a dragon? I guess we'll find out from the roll of the dice. Chug some water. Got dry skin. It's been real dry and flaky lately. Let's see what the dice say. Uh, take some aspirin. It's probably the last thing I would do. I think I would try some lotion first. Getting red spots. Oh my god, I'm getting really, really sick and I can't do anything about it unless I get lucky. Come on. Go to the doctor. All right, come on. Give me a good doctor. Actually, never mind. Siri has chosen 10 again, so I'm gonna try and shoplift. To the most expensive item, the bottle of scotch. Sure, steal it. And I got 58 bucks for it. Nice, all right. See if I can become a bartender again, maybe? No. What about computer programmer? No. Library aid? No. If I became a grocer, an apprentice grocer. Okay, I, I might actually get this job. Do I handle conflict well? Let's see what the dice tell me. No, I implode. <laughs> I was not offered the job. <laughs> God damn it. Come on, uh, gallery associate, please. All right, come on. Do you have any plans for future education? Only if the company will pay for it and they denied me. All right, you know what? I'm moving out of this feckin' country. I don't like it here. I'm emigrating to... All right, Siri has chosen that I go to Costa Rica. Ooh, looks like I got at least making more money. What if I became a bartender again? I would really like that job back. I, I was told I was not the type of individual they were looking for. Is it because I got measles or red bumps or scaly skin? Is it because I'm part dinosaur? Because I will sue. All right, for a porta potty job, they asked me which of the office characters do I relate to the most. I would definitely say Michael. Okay, so I got Michael. Nice. And I wasn't offered the job. Okay. I got a question. Why is the chiropractor logo like a skull? Like, what's so what's so lethal about it? What if I became a stripper? Please. Surely I can't screw. I can screw this up. Okay. All right. That's it. I'm joining the circus. I'm gonna become a circus clown. Coffee or tea? Honestly, for me, neither. I got the job finally. Christ almighty, I finally got a job. Now I'm suffering from anxiety, my happiness. I'm supposed to be a happy clown, <laughs> but I'm just the, de the first and only depressed clown. My half-brother, Miguel, though, has been promoted to lieutenant, so that's that's exciting for him. I'm apparently a genius. I don't know why I didn't go to school longer, but whatever. The clown life is for me. My coworker, Javier, started a rumor that you steal coworkers' food out of the refrigerator. Honestly, in this case, I would call him a clown. Ironically, I can't, so I have to surprise myself with... Start a rumor about him. Okay, see, now that's interesting. And I hacked into his account and posted a bunch of embarrassing pictures. Holy crap. He reported me as supervisor. How will I react? Try to seduce him and it didn't work and he asked me what was wrong with me and I've been terminated Let's see uh, And I will insult my supervisor as well Fernando It's funny you asked me what the hell's wrong with me because I've never gone to a doctor to figure that out either So yeah, you just put another veteran on the streets met a female named I don't even know what your name is uh, Surprise me Ask around a date. Attend relationship counseling <laughs> Sure, that sounds Random, try to make her pay too. She refused to go to relationship counseling with me, why? Now she's all upset. What should I do? Argue back at her. We just started dating and I asked her to go to counseling with me. You were asked at work to make an actor named Jerry look very scary. What will I do? Surprise me. Uh, use contact lenses to make someone named Jerry look scary. And now my girlfriend wants to break, break up because I blink too much. Well, I have allergies and my eyeballs itch. And I'm now attacking her. But like I was gonna say, that actually hits home pretty well because my eyes itch constantly. Then I gave her an Indian rug burn on her wrist. Sure. Ow! She attacked me with an axe. She chopped your... What? Oh my god. Well, no one except for my mother showed up to my funeral, so that's... 
very depressing. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the randomized BitLife challenge. I would definitely be down to play some more BitLife. If you guys would like to see more, give me some challenges and some comments of what you guys think or what you guys want to see from BitLife or just any other game in general. And with that being said, thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Can I put my balls in your jaw?